Hello, for our discussion, is there political philosophy anti-politics? Yes or no? My answer is no. This is because what we have learned in this course is that political philosophy talks about how to achieve an ideal government that emphasizes happiness, good governance, and justice that concerns the governments and also the people. This course does not say that political philosophy is anti-political. In this course, we will both look at the contribution of political thinkers to the ideas that undertie human political life. In this regard, the course discuss the nature, scope, and selected issues of political philosophy, including a comparative survey of the opinions of various political philosophical figures and the key concepts they introduce. In addition, the course will also attempt to link the political philosophies they put forward with the real situation. The course is also critical in nature, as we are not only required to understand the ideas put forward by political thinkers, but also to make an assessment based on our understanding. Political philosophy can be defined as a philosophical reflection of how best to organize our collective lives, our political institutions and social practices, such as our economic systems and family life patterns. Political philosophers seek to establish basic principles that will, for example, justify a particular form of state, show that individuals have certain inalienable rights, or tell us how society's material resource should be shared among its members. This usually involves analyzing and interpreting ideas such as freedom, justice, authority, and democracy, and then applying them critically to the social and political institutions that currently exist. Some political philosophers have tried primarily to justify the arrangements prevalent in their societies. Others have painted a picture of an ideal situation or an ideal so social world that is very different from anything we have experienced all along. Political philosophy is a branch of philosophy that studies the fundamental questions of human, social, or racial life. It investigates a variety of questions such as principle of justifications of power and social governance. The reasons for the justifications of certain forms of governments, the social obligations forming member of society, and the origin, nature, and purpose of government. The interwined concepts as a mean include freedom, control, liberty, oppression, censorship, liberty, rights, property, human nature, war, peace, justice, and others. While political science focuses on existing or possible theories and practices in social and political terms, political philosophy focuses on the normative aspects of political theory and practice. This discipline was not clearly defined until recently, and just as classical political theories address both normative and descriptive issues, political theories today continue to discuss both. Because political philosophy is related to both spiritual and material aspects of social life, it is interrelated with other branches of philosophy, including ethics, legal philosophy, academic philosophy, and other fields of study, such as sociology, so sociology of knowledge, economics, anthropology, religion, aesthetics, theories of human natures, critics of culture, and even metaphysics in some cases. While there are many some of the most enduring ones from around the world, include Chinese Confucianism, illegalism in India, Hinduism had and has a significant philosophical and political impact. In Central Asia, the Middle East and North, North Africa, Islamic thinkers have had an impact that is not currently commonly used but has had a profound impact on Europe, namely Al-Ghazali, Ibn Rushdie, and Al-Farabi. This cultural and religious system represents traditional philosophies. In the more modern or Western setting, political philosophy has taken on a significant and different appearance is now a lot more about variousism and much more global than local. Some modern examples include democracy, communism, socialism, liberalism, and conservation of subgroup as subgroups of political philosophies. So what I can what I have and I can conclude is that political philosophy is not anti-political.
थैंक यू एंड बाय